this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Pisces for the month of um, March um, 2018 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful uh, support you Pisces have been given um, it is also your zodiac birthday and this is going to be good um let's see what is coming out the month of march is the wheel of fortune which is wonderful and positive whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring the energy of the wheel of fortune is here and um the situation that is going on around you okay you guys have um the energy of the fool you're moving forward that is good new start for you guys so that is good very nice very nice very nice <laughs> okay so um, we're going to be looking forward to see what is transpiring for um, you guys because um, definitely um, you are on a new journey okay you're definitely on a new journey and this is wonderful and good um, wherever this new journey is going to take you we're going to be um, looking to see um, where this new journey is going to be taking you Pisces okay so um, remember that this reading is a 50 minute long reading and um, with this 50 minute long reading um, there will be 50 minutes on YouTube and the rest is going to be on my website where you can pick up the on demands okay so wonderful um yeah it is the month of the wheel of fortune so um it's also your birthday zodiac month so um you know use the energies um to make sure that you are coming out in a positive way because this is really a lucky month for you um pisces whatever is going on around you this is really a new beginning a new start whether it's in relationship or you're deciding to go on a new journey in your life um, it's gonna be good so whatever is transpiring whatever is happening um, be open for um, new things and new endeavor again I've changed up the reading as you guys have seen I've definitely definitely had to um, I like changing up my readings like changing up the way I do things like changing people and situations also so let's see what is coming up for you Pisces okay happy birthday to my cousin because I know you're watching <laughs> I know you're watching so happy birthday <laughs> If only you knew when we were growing up that I become a card reader. <laughs> anyway, I love you, babes. You're just a year older than I am, and you're looking good for your age. And this year, I'm finally reaching out to you. <laughs> okay, I love you. Um, I love you so much. You're like my sister, and um, I'm wishing you all the best. And your heart is so good. I know um, you're going to be okay. All right. Um, let's see what's happening for the Pisces. A card fell out. This month has four weeks, and in these four weeks, this month has four weeks, and in these four weeks, um, you guys have the energy of the fool, so it's a new start. Um, you guys have the energy of the star. Um, coming out in the first week this was the energy that fell out so you guys have the energy of the star coming out in the first week so remember two first weeks is the energy of um, the zodiac energy of water so it's gonna be good you guys come out with the energy of the star it is your year so try and make all just do everything in this year and make all of the situations okay so this is going to be good the energy of the star comes out which is wonderful and which is positive okay um, in week two you have the two of cups some of you could be meeting someone new some of you could be connecting um, this is positive but in week two you're going to definitely have some um, problems with this connection this relationship because strength is the general energy so go back and listen to the general energies and we're going to be seeing what is happening okay 
So you're the star as to whatever is happening. So the two first week for you, Pisces, is going to be um very good. Let's look at the third week. The third week, the nine of pentacles, two, four, six, eight, nine of pentacles is here. Whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, that nine of pentacles is here. It's going to be good. It's going to be positive. Money is definitely, it could be a new start in love for some of you and a new start with your financial aspects for some of you. Okay. Let's see what the last week have for um, the Pisces. The last week, victory and success. You're moving away from a situation. You have overcome a situation. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is going to be good. This is going to be positive. So overall, you can see for you Pisces that it's going to be very a very, very positive month. Whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, whatever that is happening, it is going to come out a very, very prosperous. You're going to be victorious and successful about a lot of stuff whatever you decide to do in the last week go ahead and do it whatever you decide to do in the first week go ahead and do it the energy of the first week is um, moving forward so if you decide to end something and move forward or start something it's going to be good last week is also going to be good you guys have a very 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 positive month you have the star the two of cups and the um, nine of Pentacles and the chariot okay so this is wonderful okay let's see what is going to be transpiring between the first week and the second week the energy of the star you are dealing with the Queen of Pentacles so first week going into the second week some of you are dealing with the Queen of Pentacles so this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is definitely a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Whoever this person is or whatever the situation, we're going to be looking at that deeper. Um, so please download the extended reading, okay? Please download the extended reading. Whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening um, with you and this person, um, the energy of the star comes out. So it's as if have faith. If you're in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, um, you could be reconnecting in the second week so have faith about this relationship um, because there um, there is definitely love so um, have faith about this relationship whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening um, and you know we're going to be looking forward to see what is happening because obviously some of you are connected with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn either woman or man and it is is the um, this relationship was brought to you by the angel the gods and the angels and there is uh, some imbalance or something like that okay all right the two of cups and the nine of Pentacles what is this all about two of cups nine of Pentacles um, another nine comes up a tree a ten of cups um, you're going to be happiness and joy is going to be coming back in your relationship whatever the situation was or is happiness and joy you could be reconnecting with this person um, whoever this person is um, um, this person completes you so I'm seeing some of you Pisces for sometimes you were out of contact with this person and this person is going to be returning in your life okay it's as if this person make you so complete okay um, whatever is transpiring um, between you and this lady because it's as if this lady makes you complete um, for some of you some of you could be your mom and she could be returning in your returning back in your life okay um, this person definitely makes you complete this is what I'm seeing this is what I'm understanding this is what they're showing me that um, um, the person whoever this person is she's like a family um, it's as if you I've known her for lifetime and lifetime and there was some confusion whatever it is she's going to be returning ten of cups is the energy so now we're looking at the nine of Pentacles and um, the Prince of Swords oh um, my excuses I have to use my glasses um, it wasn't the chariot it was the king of swords okay it wasn't the chariot in the last week it was the king of swords my excuses um, <laughs> that's why I wear my glasses the king of swords so in the last week some of you are going to be having a situation with the king of swords now the king of swords is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this could be a friend or this could be coming up as 
um, someone coming at you with harshness um, this could be coming this is, could be someone who is uh, um, cutting through whatever there is whatever the situation is so um, whatever is transpiring in your world you're going to be content in and this is a karmatic situation this um, Aquarian Gemini or Libra is an is a karmatic situation okay um, now you have uh, um, something to do with money with this person okay you have definitely have something to do with money with this person and um, there is going to be conflicts between you and this person okay so whatever the situation is there's definitely going to be conflicts in the last week between you and this person and it has to do with money It has to do with money, okay? Alrighty, so let's move forward and let's see what is happening. The two of cups is here. What is the energy? Because this has to do with either um, this is more of love. This energy of the two of cups because it has to do with family. It has to do with building on a relationship. It's 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 more of a situation where um, it, it, the two of cup, cups is more. A situation of a, um, a relationship with someone that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or a relationship okay someone um, you're gonna be um, receiving this person in your life okay now I have here the energy of the Queen of Swords it's as if um, some of you are can, are in relationship with a Queen of Swords or the Queen of Swords is your wife or you're in relationship with the queen of swords this is a more younger person and um you want to regain um connection with the um stare with the taurus Virgo or capricorn but this person is there in the intervene and it starts as if in the first in the second week you're going to be finding out that this person has a lot to do with the relationship being ended okay and then you're going to be working on it to resolve the situation and resolve whatever that is going on so this could also be coming up for some of you as a, mm, this could be also coming up as a child and this child whatever the situation is this child has gone off course and you and the mother is trying to regain course for this child so this could be also happening Nine of Pentacles in the fourth week for the Pisces in the month of March. What is happening with that? Calling up in the angels um, to show us what is happening. Nine of Pentacles in the third week for the Pisces, um, the five of Pentacles, the five of Pentacles. So um, some of you um, was worried about your financial stability in the third week, but that is going to get better, okay? Um, some of you are having some hardship dealing with um, an Aquarian, um, Gemini, or Libra. This could be a friend. This could be, um, you could be finding out that she has been creating some situations in your life. And you're going to be finding this out and you're going to be cutting this person out of your life. Okay. So let's see what's coming out for the Pisces for the month of March. What is the outcome? So, um, six of Wands, you are going to be, um, you're definitely, the Six of Wands comes out and what um, what ha what this means is that you're going to be victorious over whatever the situation is. Whether with a family situation, whether with love, you're going to be victorious. Some of you are going to be victorious um, over the Aquarians, Gemini or Libra people in your life. Some of you, they're coming in as children. That you're having situation with them as children, but um, they they have young energy and and, and um, really um, cutting, and but not in a very positive way. And because of this, you're going to be overcoming this, and you're going to be like setting things, people, and situation aside, and removing yourself out of situation, especially those who are in relationship with an Aries with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra you're going to be ending a situation with that person and um, that person 
you're going to be overcoming because what whatever has transpired, this person was like blocking your life and creating havoc, and you're going to finally, finally get rid of this person. So um, that's going to be good for some of you. It's as if some of you realize that um, that person, it could be your wife or um, your spouse, wh however way she's fit, play in your life, um, she creates a lot of chaos in your life, and you're going to be finding that out and ending it, okay? So um, that is good. So you're ending the month on a very, very positive note, yeah. So that's good for you, Pisces, okay? So you're ending the month on a very, very positive note. So kudos to you, Pisces, okay? All right, let's see what's coming up for the Pisces. What message does the magical unicorns have for the Pisces uh, um, in this month? Um, <laughs> what energies does the magical unicorns have for the Pisces in the month of March? For the Pisces for the month of March. Okay. I have two cards and the energy with these two cards I have two cards in my hand this is card one this is card two okay so if you choose card one the message is a definite yes so whatever you Pisces was thinking of when you were listening to this reading the um, answer is a definite yes the answer to your question is a strong yes okay so whatever you were thinking about when you were listening to my reading the answer um, to your question is a definite yes okay so if you were thinking oh my god mm -hmm, it's a yes okay and for the uh, second um, the second card it is you will know in the morning for some of you some of you you will know in the morning and it says um, when you wake up you will have a better idea about what to do relax until then okay so this is really really wonderful this is really positive so some of you is a definite yes so if you are asking if you should go with someone do some it's a definite yes but some of you um, some of you will receive um, the answer in the morning before and this is for the people who choose card two this is card two okay so um, I want to say to a lot of you um, thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is definitely um, the month for you guys it is the, the zodiac energy of your birthdays and um, enjoy this month whatever is happening whatever is transpiring um, enjoy this month and as you enjoy this month um, you are going to be um, okay you guys okay um, I'm saying goodbye to the people on YouTube and um, um, we're going further with the energies um, we are going to be checking out we're going further with, with the energies and we are going to be